We count down the hours until kickoff on Sunday afternoon. We know that Bills fans are feeling a lot of different emotions, but one of those feelings that usually comes with being a Buffalo sports fan is pride. And one Western New Yorker took his local sports pride to the next level, putting together a Buffalo sports museum inside his own house. Most Buffalo's Kevin O'Neill went to check it out for us. But 19, what year? 1982. 1982. Buffalo sports fans may remember the way. <laughs> the whammy weenie, yeah. the ill-fated promotion from the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, one of the worst promotions in sports oh, history. Oh, man. It, it was not good to uh, to give to drunken Bills fans out at the stadium <laughs> in 1982. <laughs> a green and yellow whammy yeah. weenie. Yeah, and why green? Yeah. It was, uh, it was a green oh, hot dog. What was man, it all about? Oh, man, yeah. With Charlie Barcelona yeah. uh, from Bells Markets. They, that was their promotion, uh -huh. the whammy weenie. Uh, it, it was it was designed specifically to rival the terrible towel of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Oh. And that's why they came up with the whammy weenie. Right. It didn't even last one season, Man. and now they are very, very collectible. Tyler, the, the, the bottom floor of your house is, is transformed into the Buffalo Sports Museum. Yes. If you talk about it, it, its purpose, its mission. Yeah, well, its mission is to, to remember the past. It's, it's, it's to tell stories like this of the whammy weenie about things that, you know, we don't remember anymore, and, mm -hmm. and we want to keep in our, in our hearts and in our minds. So I love to collect stuff. It, it, you know, visual is so big in terms of uh, memorabilia. It brings back emotions. It brings back things that, like you said, going to games with your dad and listening mm -hmm. to games with your dad. It is all about family. Mm -hmm. And that's why we do this. We'd like to collect things. We like to preserve things. And we like to make sure that these things get uh, passed down for history. Uh, you're looking for items? or but, Always. But, but people you know, probably have bobbleheads and stuff that yeah. are, there's a million of them. So how do we know something's really unique or something worth, worth your while? They can act, actually call me. They can go sure. to my YouTube page, John Boutet. They can go to my Facebook page, Buffalo Sports Museum. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, they can send me a message. Hey, you know, you're looking for this. You know, you want to buy this. You know, you want to donate this. Mm -hmm. um, I can help tell them if their item is rare or not. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's 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 all about it's passion for me. Uh, okay, yeah. Buffalo Sports Museum yes. on Facebook, and then your YouTube yeah. channel is your name, John yes. Boutte, John spelled Boutte. B O U. T E T. There you go. Like uh, Chevrolet. And and the Bill Steelers have some playoff history, and uh, they've mm -hmm. met three times. Three times in their history. Every time they've played, it was been at Three River Stadium, mm -hmm. which no longer exists. And every time, the winner ended up going on to the Super Bowl. There you in go. Those three years, so oh. it's, a, it's a good omen for we'll, Buffalo. We'll keep our fingers crossed, and of course, uh, this weekend for the first time, Steelers at the Bills in the postseason.